Well, if you saw my coach collection video from last Saturday, then you know that I got out all of my non-luxury items, handbags, SLGs, jewelry, housewares, you name it. And I was going to do all that in one video and then decided coach needs to be separate and then I'll do everything else in another video. And that is what you're gonna see today. I have items from Tory Burch, Rebecca Minkoff, Henry Bendel, Kurt Geiger, Longchamp, and more. And some of it is pretty unique and I bet that there are a lot of you who have never seen some of these pieces. So I hope that that has piqued your interest enough that you will stick around. <music> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. The items I'm showing you today fall somewhere in there. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Now one of the perks of subscribing is that on your YouTube homepage you will see my community posts, and that is where I post information about sales and discount codes and whatever I can find to help you get better bargains on these beautiful things that we love. I'm also on Instagram and I'm trying to get back into it so if you are there and you want to follow me and see pictures of my collection and of my dogs and the occasional African gray parrot named Vincent who you may hear whistling in the background of this video, then check me out there. I'm Autumn Beckman on Instagram as well. All right, I thought I could do this categorically, like show you all my handbags and show you all my card holders and things like that, but I thought maybe it would be better to do it organized by brand, so I'm doing it that way. I'm gonna start with brands that I only have one of or just a couple pieces from, and then I'll shift up to brands that I have more pieces from, and these are in no particular order. The first piece I'll share with you is this bag charm, macaron bag charm from Lauderay, and this lovely item was a gift to me a few years ago from another YouTuber. Lily LV. She's fantastic, very sweet, very generous. She's given me lots of lovely things, and that is one of them. This beautiful bag, Italian leather, made in Italy, did not come with this tassel that I added separately. Mock croc, and it does come with a matching leather crossbody strap that's wrapped up inside the bag, camera bag. This was sent to me by a company called Last Brand, and they've since renamed themselves to Kints, Q-U-I-N-C-E, so I will link them below. If you have ever thought about getting the Gucci camera bag or any other camera bag, and you want a good quality one to maybe try out, or you just don't wanna spend Gucci money, right? This was only about $110, I want to say, and it's a beautiful bag. The leather's lovely, the quality is lovely, so I recommend that. And they also have clothes and linens and things, but beautiful bag. This is a mini backpack, but you can't wear it as a backpack. It has this long strap to wear as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, but it's long enough that it really should be crossbody. It has this back pocket, has a front zipper. Uh, this is leather, silver hardware, and then it has this leopard print inside with a pocket on the back. And then this isn't a pocket, that's just to keep the things in the main compartment from falling out the front. This is by a brand called Amy Kestenberg. Where did I get this? I think maybe it was Dillard's. They also have it on, is it the Home Shopping Network or is it that other one that's similar to that? QVC? QVC, I think that's the one. And I don't remember the name of this backpack, but she's known for her backpacks. And this is the little mini version. All the other ones that are different sizes and they get regular backpack size, those are all backpacks. This is really nice quality. The price is good. I've been really happy with it. I like it a lot. This item that I use as a pouch but it's actually a handbag and it does come in different sizes. This is by a brand called Hammett and this is the Dylan bag in the small size and obviously it has a mock crop print and this is not leather it's I don't know what to call it but it's shiny and pretty um, and then you open it up here it has magnets on the side and there's a zip compartment there which is the main compartment. You can open that up and there's a leather strap inside where it can be a crossbody bag. And there's also a slip pocket on the back there. This is, I got it at Dillard's. So you can get Hammett there or from the Hammett website. If you sign up for the Hammett emails, they'll send you information on discounts and sales and things. High quality leathers, great craftsmanship. I definitely recommend if you like these styles that they have, which are different, I think. Definitely a brand worth checking out. They are made in America, made in California. And this bag, another mock croc. Can you tell I like 
like Mock Croc is by Teddy Blake and they sent this to me to do a video about a while back. This bag will unsnap on the side so you can expand it a little bit and it has these zippers on either side and then it's just a big compartment in the middle. It's 30 centimeters across which is 12 inches and it's a another beautiful very well made quality bag. This also comes with a strap you can attach to it and carry it on your shoulder. Another brand I would recommend. This black leather bum bag or sling bag is from a brand named Thacker and I learned about this from Yo to Style she bought one she has the black one and there's a brown suede one I got this to walk the dogs with so I'd be hands-free and I wouldn't have to keep adjusting a crossbody bag because you know how they slip around this one doesn't slip around that much it's very comfortable and I have found it to be the best dog walking bag that I've tried it has the giant compartment here with a zip pocket inside there's also a zip pocket on the back if you're larger like me the strap that comes with it is adjustable to where it will fit me that was something when I was looking for for a bag like this that I had trouble finding something with a pretty long strap that I could wear crossbody and would still be really comfortable and not sit up too high. I've been very happy with this. And this one even has, just for extra security, I have my hand sanitizer hooked to it right now, but it has this little toggle clasp where you could slip that through and it keeps the zippers together just to keep the bag closed. Not that it opens on its own. And then I wasn't sure whether to include Aldo in this video, um, but I decided to because I thought these two bags might be interesting to you. There's this one, which I purchased. Obviously it looks a lot like a Speedy, right? Um, I purchased because I really want a black Speedy but I have not found the perfect black speedy yet. This one is fantastic. The only thing I don't like about it is, you know, I've been saying so many of these pieces that I have are really high quality, good quality. These aren't. This lining is crap. It just comes out and it's really cheaply made. The zipper is wonky, but it's really cute. And I like the rivets on it and I like the texture on it. And I like that the zipper goes down the sides and I like that it has a strap where I can wear it on my shoulder if I want. There's a lot I really like about it. And then I also got this one, which looks a lot like a petite mall, right? Little trunk box. This is such a pretty piece, and it was probably $50 instead of couple thousand. I did a video on this, a what fits video on this, and uh, basically once you close it, it fits pretty much nothing. I don't really use this bag, but it is lovely decoration in my closet. And then I have three pieces by a brand called Sprayground, which apparently a lot of people have heard of, but I never had, and I still don't know much about them. I have two backpacks from them. One is this one, and the shark thing is like their logo that they're known for. And obviously there is some Vuitton Galaxy print inspiration in this. And that's part of what I love about the Sprayground brand is that they, part of what they do is pull elements of other brands' designs. Sometimes they are working with a brand and sometimes they aren't, but I think that's part of the fun of them for sure. I think that's so pretty. I have this backpack too, I'll show you in a second. I don't wear them as backpacks. What I do is I have a rolling cart that I take to work with me. And and this has great organization inside. It has this one big, I don't know if you can see it, but this one big pocket back here where I can slip my laptop. And then this smaller zipped mesh pocket here where I can put smaller things like my pen pouch. And then the big main compartment where I put all my planners and everything else. So I just keep this down in my rolling cart and use it as bag organizer inside the rolling cart. And then this one obviously has some Vuitton influence as well. And then the gold drip, which I thought was really pretty, has the same organization inside. You can see that better now. I didn't need two of these, but I liked both of the prints so much that I bought them. And my third spray ground piece is this miniature backpack, which is super cute. It's a bag charm, and I'm sure they didn't intend for this to be adorable, but it totally is. And it's just one big open compartment there, and it's the perfect size to stuff some cards and use it as a little mini wallet. Similar to how you might use a Louis Vuitton clay, you could clip it to the outside of your bag and have cash or cards your ID accessible there or your belt loop whatever. I have three pieces from Michael Kors. One is this very well-worn pair of shoes. I don't remember the name of these 
or if they're still available. But I got them because print, I think, matches Damier Ben so much, and it even goes well with monogram. So I'll often wear these when I wear my baton bags. And I also have these simple black loafers. My other Michael Kors piece was gifted to me by Frozen Luxury on YouTube, and it is this clear bag. And last year during COVID, I was carrying only clear bags, so he sent this to me for that. It has a shoulder strap inside, and it's large and and well structured and just lovely and I'm appreciative to have it. I have two pieces from Ted Baker. One is this rose gold pencil pouch. If you've ever thought about getting one of these, this one has leather on the base. These that are the, I don't know exactly what the material is, it's a coated, maybe a canvas. It's very stiff, just so you're aware. It's not like the Louis Vuitton where it opens up super easily. There's like, it, it's not, you don't have to force it or anything but it's stiff, like it, it's structured. And the bow also is hard, it's not gonna crush. That's one of the things that I was worried about when I purchased this until I saw it in person and I was able to smush it a little bit. That bow is not gonna get messed up. That's a great pencil pouch, I do recommend it. My other item from them, I also love this bag, is this tote, which reminds me of kind of a mermaid. And I wanna say it was called, the print was called Masquerade something very similar to that. It's a zipped tote. Let me open it up. Maybe not. I have it stuffed. There's a pouch that comes with it. It's a flat pouch. And what I wanted to show you is the pouch, but I don't want to tickle the stuffing out. The pouch has two snaps on the back and they snap into the inside of the bag so it will hang there. Uh, so you can have a zipped pouch inside your bag, but you can also unsnap it and use it on its own as a little clutch if you want it, which is a nice feature. I've carried this bag a few times and I'm in love with it. I got it on sale for a little more than a hundred dollars. Worth it, worth more than that. I can't tell you how much I love that bag. It is really, really lovely. Next, and you may have noticed something just disappeared back here. I have four items from Kurt Geiger. This pretty little metallic card holder has two slots on the front in blues, and then you turn it around and bam, totally different colors and another two slots there. There is no center compartment. I'll tell you, cause I'm honest with you guys, of all the pieces I'm showing you today, this is one of my least favorite because of the quality. This is not great. Like it's pretty, I like the blues. These aren't my colors, but the blues are pretty. It should have a center compartment. The rest of it is just, the quality's not as good as any of my other card holders. Even ones from the Coach Outlet are better than this. So I don't recommend their card holders. However, the other three pieces I have from them are fabulous. One is this water bottle holder. How cool is that? Has a shoulder strap and this lovely quilted bag that it goes in with their signature eagle head with little crystals on it. And then of course the bottle is removable so you can refill it and clean it. Very cool piece. And one of their signature bags is the Kensington. This is the mini Kensington. Has a little chain where you can carry it like this, but it also has this clip where you could clip it to a bag as a bag charm or to your belt loop. It has the eagle's head. It has two magnets that open up to one center compartment. And this is the perfect size to hold a ton of cards, nearly an inch deep stack of cards. This piece is not real leather. All three of the other pieces I'm showing you are. And the last piece that I have, I still have wrapped in plastic, I haven't opened it up yet, is the Kensington bag. And it is so soft and plush and gorgeous. This was a Christmas gift, just this past Christmas from Yota Style. Very sweet gift and a beautiful piece. And the reason it's still wrapped up is because I want to do a video on this bag because I've never even looked at it in person has magnetic snaps there that open up to two compartments with a, is it a zip or just a divider? It's just a divider. I don't even know. I haven't even looked that closely yet because I want to do that with you guys in a video. So I will get around to that soon. It's a very beautiful bag. Thank you again, Yota. I have five pieces from Tori Birch. Two of these were also gifted to me by Yota. One is this pair of earrings. There's the back. One is, let me remove these, this pair of shades. These are the Riva Square sunglasses in blue. I mean, they're the best. Usually when I put those on in a video, I keep them on for the rest of the video, but I'm not doing that today because I need to be able to see some of the other things I'm going to show you. I also have this lovely gold card holder from Tory Burch. It has two card slots on the front, two on the back, and the center compartment. 
and this is from the Kira line. And I have my most used Tory Burch piece because I keep my camera in this, my little vlogging camera, is this little cosmetic pouch. Love this thing. It reminds me of a Chanel pouch with the it looks like quilting. It's not actually quilting. You can see it's a flat leather. It's just embossed to make it look like quilting. But I keep my vlogging camera and my little light and batteries and cards in here and it's perfect for that. And I have the Tory Burch Cura bag. This is the larger of the two sizes in the classic tote. And I have a comparison video between this and the Rebecca Minkoff Edie bags, like that gold one there. So I will link that below. Spoiler alert, I prefer the Edies. I guess I shouldn't show you the inside of every bag because it's going to make the video much longer. I have a lot from Henry Bendel. No handbags. I got into the Henry Bendel game late and there was never a bag that I had to have, but there are other pieces I had to have. Let me tell you. This is not one of them. I think I got this for free. This little I Love Henry Bendel ceramic mug. A box of matches. This was a gift given to me recently. A sunglasses holder. You just open it up. It's magnetic. Put your glasses in there. I have three bag charms. There's this one which reminds me of some of the Louis Vuitton florets. These flowers that I thought were very autumn-y. And this little sort of Limoges pill box or hat box. But it's small enough you can open it. It's got a strong magnet, it's purple inside, so you could use it as a little pillbox. This is a clip. It's It was built as a scarf holder. I'm not exactly sure what you do with it. Like you put it on your bag and you could string your scarf through there. I don't know. I've never used it for anything. If you have any ideas, let me know. I have this pair of earrings, turquoise and blue beads. I have this tennis bracelet with the crystals and silver. And I used to have one that was set in gold and I think I lost it. I know that it came off my wrist a couple times and I found it and I think it just fell off and I didn't realize it at some point. Haven't seen that in a long time. And I have three necklaces. This little dainty golden crystal one with flowers hanging off of it. That reminds me also of the Vuitton florets. This one also dainty and golden crystals. And it has that little rectangular monolith sort of pendant hanging from it. And then this one was recently gifted to me. Very long and you can double it up. It's a silver chain and then it has little gold HBs on it. Which is very pretty. I love the mixed metals on this. Also have this little ring holder with the dog on it. I use that every day. And this beautiful little jewelry box. I wish I had a few more of these. This is the small size. And I'd love to have a larger one. These things, they were pricey at Henry Bendel, but now if you try to find them like on eBay, the prices are outrageous. It has a little key that does work and then you open it up. It's got the mirror and it's lined in brown. This one has a tray that comes out. Very high quality jewelry boxes, very well made. And I have two beautiful trays. I feel very fortunate to have these and I got both of them on sale at Henry Bendel. And this is another item if you try to find it pre-loved at this point, they're crazy expensive. One is this tray that's an illustration of their Fifth Avenue building in New York. And on the back, I'll show you in a second, but it says uh, Henry Bendel 120th anniversary special edition, celebrating our historic Fifth Avenue store. And it says retail and this was $98. And this spectacular tray, I think this illustration is by Megan Hess. It is gorgeous. You can see New York City out the windows. There's a dog on the couch. That's what sold me. Beautiful tray. And both of these I just have standing up displayed in my closet as decoration. I don't put things in them. I also have this train case in Safiana leather, black with gold hardware. It is fantastic. I looked all over the place for quite a while, like maybe even a few years, for a train case that I was happy with, one that was good quality, not like one from Target or Walmart or something. I paid up for this because I wasn't going to pay like Louis Vuitton prices. I Look, when I buy a train case, it is not to be a handbag. It is to be a train case, a vanity case. It's to be something that gets used in a bathroom and you expect that it's going to get wet and that it might have things spilled inside of it. So I'm not paying $1,200 for a Louis Vuitton niece with Vachetta to put that in the bathroom. Um, I think that's a little crazy. Although 
I have been tempted by them, so watch me get one next week. Inside, it has this pocket and a mirrored section, and then the bottom is one big open space. And this, I think, is a silk lining, so I am careful with it. Uh, I have all these wipeable pouches inside that I keep things in instead of just keeping things loose in it. It's for organization and to protect that interior. I've had this for several years now. I use it on any big trip that I go on and it is held up very well. And it also comes with a shoulder strap, not to use as a handbag, but just to make it easier to carry when you're traveling. And my last Henry Vendel piece is this laptop bag, uh, very similar in structure and materials to the train case. Black Safiano leather with the gold hardware. It has a pocket here. It has a strap on the back so you can attach it to luggage. And this is another piece like that backpack that I use in my rolling cart for organization. You can see I'm using it currently. It has a padded slot on one side with a little flap for your laptop and then to keep that secure. It has two pockets on this side to put stuff in and then the big center compartment. I've been using this for a few years, almost every day. It still looks just about brand new. Unless my observation skills deceive me, I have only two brands left to share with you. One is Longchamp and one is Rebecca Minkoff. Let's do Longchamp first. The Le Pliage line is my favorite. I have this little coin pouch, which I do not use for coins. It's great for small things. Lip balms, nail clippers, Swiss Army knife, mints, things like that. And this is nylon with a little leather accent, just like the bags are, the Le Pliage bags. This is a small Le Pliage, very pretty with leather accents and little rivets. And I got this on eBay a few months ago, have not used it yet. Been thinking about selling it, I don't know. If anybody's interested, send me an email, autumnbeckman at gmail.com. I'd have to do some research to see what a fair price might be, but let me know. It does have, I think on all four corners, it has that little bit of corner wear, and I think all you need to do is get a little shoe polish and go over that and it'll be fine. I have four large Longchamp Le Pliage bags. Two are the plain ones that fold up, and I won't unfold these because the other two are unfolded, so you'll see what they look like if you don't know. Um, one is black and the other is gray, and they both have the traditional brown leather accents or trim. And then the two special editions I have are this black one with the stars and the tonal black leather trim. This one and the other special edition do not have the snap mechanism to be able to fold it up and keep it stored like that. And these are beautiful, I love them. These are perfect all weather bags, especially when you need a big tote all-weather bag. And of course the other special edition is the one I've had behind me in the whole video, this bronze colored one, metallic. It is spectacular and the trim on this is not black, it is a dark brown. Gold hardware. That bag, one of my subscribers found that on the Real Reel and told me about it. So if that person is watching, thank you again. She knew that would be perfect for me. Now for Rebecca Minkoff, we all know what I have in my Rebecca Minkoff collection? I have Edie bags, five of them to be precise. First, there was the burgundy and the crinkled calf leather. I have videos on all these bags. And again, I have a video comparing this bag to the Tory Burch Kira. So if you're interested, I will link that below for you. This was my first Edie. Edie number one, this is what started the madness. And then there was the denim Edie. I believe memory serves correctly. This was the second one. These have a giant pocket on the back, which is awesome. The Kira doesn't have that. Beautiful, casual, ED number two. More of a grained leather. This is in the color Acorn, which is a burnt orange, and then it has mixed metal hardware, silver and gold. ED number three. This is ED number four. There was an ED before this one that did not make the cut. It did not stay in the collection. It was exactly like this bag. Same kind of leather and the faux snake skin or lizard scale look, but it was in a very dark brown metallic, which on camera did look dark brown, but in person looked black. Didn't like it. I wanted it to be wanted it to be more noticeably brown and it was also metallic. So I went with another bag that I had had my eye on, just the metallic anthracite Edie. Absolutely beautiful, love this. I've worn it several times and I don't know, when I first looked at this bag, I thought that's beautiful, I need it, but what am I gonna wear that with? Cause what does is, what is a metallic silver bag go with? 
It goes with everything, let me tell you. I've been surprised at how well this goes with different outfits. So if you're thinking about a metallic silver bag, especially the darker silver, personal favorite, and you're on the fence about it, jump off that fence and get that bag. And of course, my most recent Edie bag, Edie number five, the spectacular. Hold it up like they hold up the baby lion and Lion King. The metallic bronze, the one of a kind, metallic bronze ED bag. One of a kind because it was from a sample sale and this is the only one that was ever made. It is gorgeous. It is my signature color, which is a bronze. My signature handbag color anyway. <sighs> Spectacular. I love it. Recent acquisition, haven't had a chance to carry it yet, but it will get a lot of use over the years, I am certain of that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, unless I have forgotten something, is my entire collection of contemporary brand bags and SLGs and other things. I hope you enjoyed. If there's something that you're looking for a video on, you can go to my YouTube channel. There's a little, like in the tabs where it says home and video and community and all that stuff, there's a little magnifying glass icon, so you can click on that and search for whatever you're looking for. And remember to leave your favorite contemporary brand in the comment section below. Curious what you like best. And remember to subscribe, especially because again, when I find deals, sales, discount codes, whatever on these brands, I post them as community posts and you only see those if you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.